On the 24th of February 2003, Kenya became the 11th country to host a World Cup match when Sri Lanka ventured where New Zealand had feared to tread. Otieno quickly showed Vass that he's a much tougher nut to crack than any old Canadian. And that brings his 50. A very fine innings by Kennedy Otieno. He's held this Kenyan batting together and at the same time uh, been marching along quite effectively. All the while, Mutai Muralitarin gave another exhibition of his own greatness. But 210 at least gave Kenya a chance. And home ground advantage must surely count for something. Fantastic delivery. That's the end of Adapati. Kenya right back in it now. 39 for 2 in the 12th over. Marvin Adapatu bowled by Odoyo. That's beautifully struck. That's through the cover area. It may have the beating of the man sweeping. He's done brilliantly and they're indicative of how good this fielding performance has been. Great applause once again for some uh, fine fielding. Oh, that's a big shout for catch behind. My Alcon keeping swing the balls up and it is a big cricket for the Kenyans. Aren't they delighted? Arvind de Silva is caught behind. Umpire Tiffin had a close look at it and took his time over the decision. De Silva wasn't very pleased, but he has to go. Was <laughs> gone and come to the office of the catch. Oh, Uncle Kenya is delighted. Just look at them. Chamin the was looking to go over Colin Saboya. Last ball of the over, hits it straight back. And this really is sensational stuff by the Kenyans. Well, there's the big shot. Is it going to be out? Yes, it is. Tremendous catch on the boundary. Well, that's number nine for the Kenyans. Well, it's almost over here at the Nairobi Gym Corner. Wonderful catch out in the deep. And it was Tony Suji this time. And that's it. That's it. It's over. It's all over here in Nairobi. The Kenyans have beaten the Sri Lankans. Maurice Otombe getting the last wicket to fall, bowling Fernando and the Sh Kenyans are celebrating in the middle and what a result here in Kenya. Fabulous, fantastic, one of the great upsets in cup history, made even more fantastic and fabulous by the decisive manner in which the Kenyans won. A new sense of fun and joy had been brought to world cricket, such a contrast to the gloom of boycotts and failed drug tests.